Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another of my uh, vacuum reviews and today we're going to be talking about um, one of the vacuum cleaners that I did a review on uh, back in 2014 so we're going to be talking today about yeah you guessed it this little chap here pneumatic Henry yes as I say I initially did this it was one of the very first reviews I ever did and uh, it was over 45 minutes long, and I just waffled on and on and on about this. So, what we're going to do, we're going to give it a quick review. I'm going to talk about the, um, the current Henry as it is now, because between then and now, we've obviously had the new EU rules coming in for vacuum cleaner power, where everything's been limited to a maximum of 1600 watts, and uh, that's now been in place for quite some time. It would have uh, I think we've been uh, about a year and a half now of those new power regulations so uh, everybody's settled in to these new wattages I've seen a lot of reviews coming up of them so um, see what people think but uh, we'll talk about the uh, current version of this and then I'll talk about the uh, what the new one's like because I've got experience of using that so the pneumatic Henry it's changed very very little over the years we'll just get down here I will get the camera off the tripod in a little bit. I've decided uh, rather than having it up there and me down here all the time, when I'm doing a more close up of the, uh, the machines, I will get it off the tripod and bring it down and we'll do a close up to the machine. So that's a new little feature I'm going to be doing. As you might have seen on my last video, I did that. Uh, so, this has been around since I would have said the early 80s. So, Henry is actually quite old now. He's uh, approaching middle age, a bit like me. <laughs> Not quite as old as me yet, though. Um, this one was bought in 2011, and um, it's the HVR 200A. It's what they call the auto save model, which they don't make anymore. They make something similar to that, but they don't make the auto save. Um, let's see, this one's uh, 1200 watts. The current model isn't 1200 watts, but again, I'll go into that a bit later on. So, what I'll do, we'll get the camera off, try my pot, and we'll come down, and we'll give him a little bit of a, a view in close-up. Right, so, what we've got here is the um, accessories that would come with it, and uh, the current Henry that you get now would come with all these, apart from one thing which is the orange turbo brush there unless you buy the Henry Extra, in which case then you would get that. Right, so the 2011 Henry came with this floor head which didn't have a wheel, this was the original standard Henry floor head with the two levers on there so you'd have one there and one there and what it would happen is when you press the one down it's a bit difficult now when I've got the camera in one hand, as you can see there, it pulls the brushes out, okay? So you can use it between carpets and hard floors. Now in my opinion, these were actually more robust, better quality heads than what you get now. On the current Henry, now this head here is uh, the Miele head, for one of my Miele cleaners, and it's a uh, Wesselwerk style or Wesselwerk. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced, but uh, it's like a German brand. Now the current Henry has this type of forehead. It has the wheel on the back. I just put it on the floor there. So you've got the rubber wheel, but it doesn't have the metal sole plate there. Okay, it's just a plastic head. You've got the brushes here all the way around, which do pop down exactly the same as this. But like I say, if you were to buy a new Henry now, that's the standard and the type of floor head that you'd have with it. You said it wouldn't say Miele on there. Okay, that's the only difference. Here we've got the hose. This is on this one. It's two and a half, two point four meters. It's quite a long hose, and you get exactly the same type of length of hose with the uh, current Henry. Okay, but the only difference is on the new one, it's tapered, so it's wider at this end. Than it is at this end, but the cuff is pretty much exactly the same. Okay, and we've got the three tubes. Okay, on the top of there, which is the angled tube, 
you've got the suction regulator which is the same on the modern Henry that you can get now and then you've got the two extension tubes here which push together okay then you have the the three small tools now I can't find where the crevice tool is at the moment I had a good look for it this morning so I've had to just find another one out it's a 32 millimeter crevice it looks very similar to this and you've got your dusting brush there okay and this one's like an upholstery tool which has a removable brush on there so the brush what will happen is that can just slide off like so leaving you with the upholstery tool there and that goes back together okay now on the Henry Extra you also had let me just put this down here the aero brush head this is a very very good tool this is for use on carpets this comes a standard with the Henry Extra or you can buy it online from various retailers and they're about 20 25 pounds to buy separately on the underneath of here what you can see is you've got your revolving brush there with your bristles on and uh, you can also take the bottom off like so and that will show you the turbine inside and if anything gets blocked in that little hole around the back of here you can then open the door and get the blockage out so that's the aero brush head let me just put that back on now I've used this quite a lot so you can see it's, uh, it's already quite dirty on here I found this to be an extremely good floor head for use on carpets so if you are going to use a Henry on carpets I would recommend the Henry Extra Okay, that's the aero brush. Right, the unit itself. Okay. Here he is. This one's the yellow version. They predominantly come in red. The current version looks pretty much exactly the same as this. Right, on the top here, you've got your cord rewind. Right, on the back, it's the two controls. On this model, which is the 2011 model, You've got the high button here with a little indicator light there saying when it's on high and there's your on and off switch there. Now on the current models which are the 600 watt models which are currently being sold I believe that's the HVR 200 A2 uh, although I might be wrong on that but um, they have two switches one which is your on and off switch and on the other side is your high and your low switch so you can decide whether you want it in I don't know, it's about yeah, 400 watts on one side and 600 watts on the other side. So basically you've got a low and a high. Much the same as what the Henry used to be like in the, the olden days when it was a twin speed. Okay, underneath here you can see the label there which says that it's 8.75 kilos. You've got the, um, the serial number there. Let's focus in on that. 11... 20, which means it was made in 2011, week 20, and that's the, I would have said the production number there after it, Pneumatic International Limited, Chard England, and uh, there we can see it's 1200 watts max, but the more modern ones are not, they're a lot less than that. Right, what we do is take the top off by undoing the side clips, which I had already done, inside here. You've got your top filter, you just take that out, it's rather dirty because as I say it has been in a fair amount of use over the, the, the I mean this is now nearly five years old this cleaner, so I've, I've used it a fair bit. I've never washed that, that just shows that in five years that's all the dirt it had on it. Here we have one of the bags inside here, again I did use it for cleaning a lot of rubble out of my loft the last time I used this, so a fair bit of dust did actually come through the bag and you can see there just how much dust has come through but they are pretty damn good bags and they're a good price as well if I show you what the uh, what they look like okay that is one of the Henry bags there it's the pneumatic HEPA flow and you can buy these online from quite a few places and uh, they're around the region off. You get ten in a pack, ten in a pack, and you can get them for as little as about six quid. So they're not uh, they're not expensive.
like a cloth microfiber bag as well rather than made of paper and I'd always recommend that you use a bag in a Henry try not to use them bagless because otherwise that filter there will get clogged and it will lose suction so it's always better with a Henry to use it with a bag okay so I just throw that over there right let's put that back in never operate it without this filter in as well this is the motor unit you can turn it upside down here and you can see inside there that's where the motor is right and then we just simply put it back on top it's a lot more tricky when I've got to hold the camera in one hand and do things one handed I know when uh, Alex does his videos he, uh, he does them like this with the camera in one hand I don't know how he does this, it's a lot more fiddly so we can lock them in position one two I think that's it, yes on the side here you've got your little clip so you can store one of your tools on it if you just get one off as your most used tool you can put that on the side Okay. So that's a close-up of the cleaner, and there's your hose there, that's your floor head, and your rods. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we'll just uh, switch it on, and I'll uh, let you hear what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure people know what Henry sound like by now, but uh, I will do it just the same. So, we'll put the camera back on the stand. There we go. And what I can do now, I can uh, assemble it and uh, we'll push it round. So the two rods will push together like so and they can be very stiff. I mean I had a hell of a job earlier on getting those separated. I know the ones where, we, where I work but uh, we do use a modern Henry in there and I am buggered if I can get these two to separate. It's also jammed onto the floor head as well so I can't get, up, can't get that off. But the, uh, the other trouble is, that I find with the modern one, is that when you push this in, into the top here, on the one I'm using there, it comes apart here too easily. So it's not a very, very tight fit in there. When you've used it for a while, it tends to get very loose where, where these two parts push together. Now, depending on how tall you are, it depends on which way you put this in. So you can have it in either that way around, with the suction valve here, or you can have it in that way around, and that's if you're shorter. Well, I'm, I'm five foot eleven, so I would uh, I find that rather short having it like that. So I would have, rather have it in that way around. That's exactly the same on the modern ones, except I do find they're rather a loose fit, and they do come apart too easily here, and they're not easy enough down on the floor head. So the floor head just pushes on, and again that is quite a tight fit on there. Like so, and push it round. The hose cuff, again, these can be a point of wear on most Henrys. When they've been used for a long period of time, you tend to find that this cuff can split down here. And the amount of them that I've seen in the past, which have had black tape wrapped around there to hold it all together. Okay, and that pushes onto there. And then it screws on on the front. Like so. And that's ready, ready assembled there. Ready to do, do some cleaning there. So we'll plug it in. The cord rewind is a very, very useful feature on this cleaner. It's a manual rewind, so you haven't got one of these buttons that you press and it all comes in itself. This is one you've got to turn it round on the top. It's a good, long 10 metre cable on all Henrys. And you get that with the ones you buy today. So it's got an awfully long reach. When you think about it, it's a 2.4 metre hose as well, and you've got the length of the rod. That will give you uh, 12 and a half, around about, um, talking a good, a good 13 metres away from the socket you can work with this. So um, if your socket's in the middle, you can go 13 metres that way and 13 metres that way, which gives you a 26 metre radius diameter there. 
So, you know, it's, uh, it's excellent if you haven't got many sockets around. Right. Quite advisable to pull the cable out completely. One other point with the Henry, that uh, I have had this to pieces in the past to see how it works inside, and they don't have, they don't have any kind of exhaust filter. Around the motor, you get a little bit of foam that's put on there, I think, for more sound insulation than anything else, but it's not a specific exhaust filter. So the emissions from these, they would, would kick out a fair amount of carbon dust out the back. It's not going to be significant, but it does build up over time. And you'll notice the, the carbon dust on the on the back of the vent because I've rubbed my finger across several times and I've noticed it myself on the back of there. Okay. That's in low. And that's in high. So first of all, we'll go in low. Those will swivel at both ends so it doesn't get kinked easily and it doesn't get damaged in the yard. It's quite a robust hose, is this? jammed very, very easily on the corner of the furniture. That is one of my biggest grumbles with the Henry is that it's pretty cumbersome when it comes to dragging the ground because it will get stuck on the corners. when it's in high with that floor head on you've got to put a bit of back into that so if you have a large area to do you know it's uh, it's quite back quite back breaking using one of those but obviously on the new models it's uh, it's only half that power it's only about a 600 watt so I find with the floor head they supply with the new one because it has this wheel on the back they are very much easier to push around than what this one was but what I do find is on the modern cleaner is that uh, the one we've had at work, they've had it for about a year, and already those bristles, right, these bristles which stick down here, have virtually all worn out. So it drags the plastic across the hard floor. And I didn't think that was very good quality. So what they've done, they've actually cheapened the quality of the floor head. This is the Miele one, it's got the metal underneath and really nice long bristles, but the, the Henry version, I find it's, uh, it's rather cheap. But then again, you are only paying about £100 for it, Henry. So you bear that in mind, they are quite cheap to buy. So I suppose over the years, because Henry's always been around about £100 for the last 15, 20 years, they've had to cheapen it somewhere. And uh, the quality of the floor head is not as good as it used to be, although it's easy to push it round. So what I'll do, I'll just put the, air, the uh, aero brush on, check the time. Okay. This is a fantastic floor head, this is. It really is. I mean, they supply this with the new Henrys as well that you get now. It's, uh, as I say, it comes on the Henry Extra. The trick is there, you've got to push it on and then get it all aligned. Okay. So, uh, what I would normally do, I would normally have it on high, 
but uh, I believe on the new ones you can have it on high again and it'll still work just as well even though with half the power. This is when this is the this clean on low. Now turn on high. fantastic machine to use with that uh, rubber on the end there. As you can hear it's uh, it's not the uh, it's not the quietest. Most turbo brushes do make a fair amount of noise but um, if you've got major majority of carpets in your home or if you've got dogs or cats then using the standard floor head with this I wouldn't bother to be quite honest I would always go for one with this on. This makes cleaning carpets if you've got pets with pet hairs that will get them up no problem at all. It doesn't get blocked that easy but if it does it's easy to unblock it and uh, it's a fairly robust plastic so it can be, it can be dropped knocked about. Um, but yeah I'd always say that Henry is worth having you know if you, if you have you haven't got a lot and you want a reliable cleaner you don't mind using bags and they're not expensive to buy you get them on the internet get them online then um, I would say Go for it, get a Henry. They're well worth the money. They're much better quality than what you might think for a £100 clean. And uh, the other thing is they're still made in this country. They're still made in, um, in Chard, in Somerset. They're not made in China, like most of, most of the other stuff these days. So, um, there we go. So, it's going to be for me and the Henry. I'll see you again on the next review.